Hey guys, um, if you remember, like, I think it was last year when my floors got flooded and got ruined, uh, me and the, uh, my stepdaddy, aka the boss, sat down and did us some, some, uh, figuring, uh, on the cost of replacing my floor and it was outrageous so uh, it was a lot more economical to uh, buy a sawmill and cut my own flooring uh, and plus you've got you know if you want wood for anything else you've got the ability to cut it and especially you remember how um, the price of lumber was freaking outrageous although it's come down some now uh well we won't have to be prisoners of them folks ever again uh so i told him uh, uh when he got ready to, to go buy it that um you know, he didn't really want this around his house because when you use a mill, it creates a lot of mess, you know, a lot of sawdust and this. I said, you know, I, why don't you just put it up at my house? That way you don't have to worry about uh, having a mess around your house. <laughs> so, uh, being a smart man that he is, he listened to me. And so we set this up at my house, in my backyard. Uh... Of course, first thing we did was uh, build this uh, shed to, to put over it. Uh, it was going to be a board and batten. I just ain't got to the uh, the batten part yet. Uh, something else we did uh, is we're building a uh, our, our own kiln. Uh, we just put plastic over the uh, the top of it because that poly stuff uh, was really expensive uh, we almost got it finished a uh, few more things to do it uh, to do to it and it'll be ready uh, we also uh, built me another pump shed so now I can uh, stand by my pump and or actually stand up by my pump instead of uh, having to crawl in there to turn my water on and off and of course last year, you know, we had a good sized garden and the same dumbasses that were in charge of the government last year are still in charge. So we made the decision to e extend our garden. We're, we're making this one bigger. Uh, we almost got it finished. Uh, we got, I uh, put a, a door in here so uh, we wouldn't have to open the gate every time we got ready to go in. So uh, that's, that's what I've been up to. Uh, aside from, you know, the normal medical issues that a 150 year old man has. So anyway, guys, just want to touch base with you and... Uh, Say hello.